welcome back to the channel. My name is Activate, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So, in today's video, we will be going over one of the biggest problems, in my opinion, with Minecraft Bedrock version. So, the Minecraft Bedrock Marketplace, I believe, is broken. Um, let's not get this uh, mixed up. There are I think good maps that are in the Minecraft Bedrock Marketplace, but I also think that there definitely need, needs to be more supervision, I guess, when it comes to these maps. And honestly, I guess, I guess even better pricing, I think, well, we're going to go over um, a couple maps here uh, in this video, and I'll show you guys what I mean by... Um, better supervision and uh, better pricing so um, let's jump right into it um, yeah the first map is actually a map that a fellow youtuber um, IBX toy cat uh, reviewed on his channel I'll leave a link to that video in the description below but we're gonna head over there right now and talk about that map and what the problems are with it Okay, so we typed in Modern House, and actually, we are talking about Modern House 2, which is now listed at 3,420 uh, coins here, uh, mine coins, which comes out to 1999 US dollars. And uh, previously, I just rewatched IBX Toy Cat's video, and this was not listed at 3,420 coins. It was actually listed at 990, I believe, which is this right here. How much does this come out to? 599. So they actually, what, tripled the price of it, basically, of Modern House 2. And also, while I'm mentioning the prices of these, their um, Modern House 1 by the same voxel blocks is now 990 coins instead of 3420 coins so basically they flipped it around modern house 2 is now worth what modern house 1 was and and there's a modern house 3 right here which is also 990 coins by voxel blocks and you'll see um right now we're going to click on modern house 2 read the description for you guys need to free your mind from the city from city and school then this second modern house is a perfect place to listen to music or redecorate the house with furniture. Don't forget to drive over the pillagers with a brand new colorful sports car. So you get eight custom furniture pieces, a sports car, and yeah, that's it. So IPX Toyka actually goes over this map in depth. I'm not going to buy it because I'm broke and I don't make money off YouTube really. So can't really afford a $19 minecraft map just to go over it for the video because i probably won't even make that in a month of videos or whatever so can't do that but um yeah i'll leave a link of the uh tour in uh the description of ibx toy cats video and he goes over the whole map in depth and shows you that this map is really really poorly made and and it is really extremely made all you really get are these cars and some furniture which are kind of broken and he even goes into farther into the map and shows you like there's random chunks despawned. There's blocks lying around. Like it's really strange. Like I'm so confused at how um, Minecraft can let these type of maps even get onto the Minecraft marketplace. And that's what I want to talk about about supervision is how is like a map like this being allowed to be sold for $20 on the marketplace like i don't understand how that gets through like it really and just like baffles me and to think that it's not just this map they made three maps that are basically from what i see like identical ibx toy Cat actually did the um tour for the modern house one and I, I mean they're almost the same thing just a little different house but i mean it's literally the same description too like what what are you paying for here like it's literally the same exact des like designs furniture like it's it's literally the same thing and they did it three times how are they gonna like scan this is almost like a scam really 
like it's just a house and you get nothing else with it i'm just so confused how this is allowed to be first be in the marketplace um with like all these flaws in the map and at second how could they be priced at this high amount like even i would say even six dollars what is it six dollars would be too much for this map there are some maps that are probably worth six dollars on the marketplace don't get me wrong like for example that uh pac-man map that just came out ibex toy cat also did a review on that map and i thought it was fantastic i think he did as well he i think from what i remember he also liked the map but let's actually just back out of this really quick and go to the pac-man map it is 1340 coins so that comes out to eight dollars um i mean it's your opinion to see if it's worth eight dollars or not but um i when i watched his video of it i thought it was um really well put together and i mean one could argue that uh you could sell this map for eight dollars and it'd be worth it so like there's maps like that that you can't be mad at really but when you when it comes to certain maps that even like uh the free maps and the education like classic are probably better than like how could you sell that for twenty dollars on this marketplace like it just seems to me like a whole like scam realistically uh that's not all we have to show um there are a lot more uh, maps even like that uh when i was researching for this video i saw that there are a lot of modern house maps not just by voxel blocks but like some other companies oh i typed in modern minecraft by accident but um yeah we'll just move on here oh for example modern mansion right here i'm guaranteeing it's the same thing that literally yeah they got a couple cars a helicopter and like a house and that's it like there are so many of those that um are just around modern millionaires by aurora um and we'll actually get into this company later but i'm pretty sure like uh this is like the same exact thing let's see the description really quick modern villa for role playing drivable helicopter cars and boats interactive furniture models custom textures multiplayer friendly so it's the same thing i mean granted you do get five skins in this world pretty basic skins but um that's a plus and what is this being sold at 4.99 so this is being sold at less like if you're getting the same thing in all of these maps i mean why not pay for the cheapest one i don't know how you could sell a map at 19.99 and i'm pretty sure it's rated like above four stars like it just it's beyond me that that could be like allowed so um that's just my little rant of the modern house series we're gonna go over a couple more maps here um the second one i think we're gonna get into right now is very interesting uh let's just head over there really quickly okay so the next map we have to talk about is super spleef by mindplex which i'm pretty sure is one of the more well-known companies that post maps on this minecraft marketplace but um, we're going to head over here and just uh, talk about this map. It is listed at 990 coins, which is roughly $5.99 US. So um, let's read the description first. So grab your shovels, collect your snowballs. It's time to spleef. Classic spleef, grab a shovel and attempt to dig up the blocks underneath another player. TNT spleef shoot at the tnt under the other players and blow up your way to victory knockout brawl knock players off the map with a knockback sword and be the last alive to win from mindplex so let's just uh, take a tour really quick let's take the tour so i guess this is the lobby area this looks like the arena which is the spleef arena right there and yeah so you can see that it's like what is that probably like four or five six chunks like taken out from a, a random minecraft world it looks like and they just added um some design to it and made it a spleef map like like not saying that this is not a like a bad job but i'm pretty sure i could like make this map within like a week and it could be like the same exact thing and they're selling it for six dollars here and let's be honest like first off like this is not even like what are you getting from this like 
you're getting what like a one mini game for six dollars you could probably find this mini game on the servers of the mine for minecraft bedrock to be honest so like why why would you buy this if you could just find it i guess like you might be able to reason because like oh you could play with just your friends but like like to be honest how many times can you play this map without getting bored of it like that i mean that's my opinion of course but like maybe you like love spleef and you play spleef every day for like three years straight but i can't see myself playing this for more than like a one a week maybe and then like coming back to it in a couple months and playing it one time i guess but i mean like i really don't even know why how could this map be sold for six dollars when it's literally like four what is it? it's gotta be four chunks or something like taken out of a map and they made a spleef map but and i mean and also you have you need a second person to play this map like you did that, i don't know maybe people don't know how to play spleef or not but like if you don't have a second person you really can't play like how are you gonna play against yourself i just i just thought this was funny because i feel like this world at least i can make probably myself in like a week and like they're probably there's probably mini games like this on some of the servers and i'm pretty sure mindplex even has a server on the um on the bedrock servers but i mean if they have this mini game that would be just crazy that they're selling this for six dollars i don't know that they do but i'm pretty sure you could probably find this mini game somewhere on the servers like it one of them has to have it it's like such a common mini game i just don't know how they're selling it for six dollars and there's probably even cheaper ones like how are people uh, i mean to be fair this is rated 3.7 stars but um that's still pretty high uh, in my opinion i just don't see how um people can buy this map and really like it for a long time like it's just another thing that like uh most of these maps like on the marketplace are probably like like gotta be taken off i i think to be honest like i think maybe one fourth of them should be on it and allowed on which would make it harder for maps to get on the marketplace but then that would increase the competition which would then make the maps better i feel like right now the um the amount of maps that are on the marketplace is like w extremely high and uh which i guess dilutes the the quality of the maps you can say so i mean it gives more uh, of an option but like if having like eight spleef maps like what is that going to do for someone like yeah so this is the second um uh section we had to talk about um i'm gonna go to the next section now and this when i found this map you guys are gonna be so shocked about this map and i actually found gameplay on youtube so um uh, we'll, we'll watch a little gameplay of it too. It is actually insane. <sighs> Take a sip of my water before we get into this, into this rant right here, because this is the craziest map I think I've ever seen on the marketplace. Um, it's rated 3.1 stars, which um, I guess is a bad thing. So bound by bound and night drift by Aurora, which is um. We talked about Aurora earlier, and I said I'll mention them later, and this is the map I'm talking about right here. So, it's listed for $3.99, 660 mine coins. And um, we're going to read the description right here. Jump through infinitely generated courses and compete for the high score against your friends. It's multiplayer friendly progressive difficulty system random and infinitely generated 2d courses so by reading the description and by the title you could kind of see that where is the minecraft in this nothing it doesn't talk about anything about minecraft it says 2d courses the the thumbnail does not look like minecraft on it does it so we're gonna scroll down here and uh look through the tour and as you can see it's like it's like um an app like an ios game like an app store game uh what's that one i can't think of the name right now i think it's geometry dash it looks exactly like that it has nothing to do with minecraft it's just a random game on the minecraft marketplace like i have no idea how this freaking ties into minecraft in any way i guess it's i guess it has to be like coded in minecraft or something but like where is the minecraft in this game it just looks like a random game that's coded and like you could be put this on any like 
game website like on the internet and no one would know that this is in minecraft so i found some um gameplay of this game on youtube we're actually gonna watch it really quickly i don't remember the youtuber offhand on my on the top of my head so i'll put it right on the screen right now and i'll leave a link to that video in the description below so if you guys want to check out that whole video um go do that but uh, yeah, we're gonna check out some gameplay of this. It was I was blown away. I was actually blown away because there's really nothing to do with Minecraft. Okay, so as you guys saw. I, it's literally like Geometry Dash. It's not even a game. Like it's not even Minecraft. And I don't know if you guys saw it, but um, they actually like shout out the Twitter of of um, the company Aurora for like I think it was twenty five hundred like mine coins, like a giveaway or something. Like how is that allowed? Like they they were shouting out their Twitter for like some giveaway for twenty five hundred mine coins or something. How is that even allowed? like in this game like aren't they checking like the game how is this whole game even allowed on this marketplace when it has nothing to do with really minecraft or anything like i mean realistically i didn't buy it so i have no idea if like later on you actually go into minecraft but like from what this looks like it does not look like anything like if you go into minecraft so, like journey in a new world but like what is this this is not, not this looks like i don't know i can't even I'm just, how is this allowed in the Minecraft marketplace? Like, that's what I'm talking about when I was talking about supervision. And now I really want to talk about that because if a game like this can be, like, brought into the marketplace, that means literally anything can be put in um, if this company is allowed to, like, put in anything. I'm pretty sure they have multiple maps, like, more than just two uh, on the marketplace. So, like, if you're, I guess, um, like, if one of your maps get allowed in, I guess you have an easier path to get more allowed. So, technically, if they wanted to, any other, like, company can put in, like, random games, I guess, like, Bound, Night Drift, like, like, they could just, I guess that's why, what's making it so easy. And, um, I want to say, like, realistically, what they should do is have, like, I mean, I'm not sure if this happens already, but every map should be reviewed thoroughly before it gets on the marketplace and like i they have to i don't know who sets the price i'm pretty sure minecraft does or microsoft or someone but like these prices need to either be lowered a lot or or they need to be um be able to refund the map um toy cat actually talked about this a little in his video of modern house 2 i believe and i think that's a good uh, be a good feature for um the, the marketplace to add if you're able to refund a map say after like i don't know 12 hours or something you check it out you don't like it or whatever five hours not even an hour you check it out you actually not not an hour it's probably too much but like 12 hours let's say you check it out oh i don't like it it's not that good you would be able to refund it um right now there's no option for that so if you're say you buy the modern house it looks great 1999 you find out it's only a house you spend five minutes in the in the world and you have nothing else to do you can't refund it and you lost twenty dollars especially like um with Minecraft being, I guess, I don't want to say for the, like, targeting younger children, but um, definitely the Xbox Marketplace, I feel like, has a younger demographic, I would say, than uh, Java or, or um, yeah, Java or Windows 10 Edition. So, um, targeting, like, kids like that, I just think that there needs to be a better solution for the Bedrock Marketplace. Right now, it is just a complete mess um, overall. But um, there are some there are some positives, as I've mentioned in the beginning of the video. So it's not all bad, but um, it's still very very chaotic, I guess to say the least. So uh, let's just talk about some good here. 
this is also one of Toy Cat's points. I'm sorry I'm referencing him so much, but this he had a lot of influence on this video. But um, he did mention in one of his videos um, about the marketplace, because he does a marketplace video, I think, every week, that um, the best... Uh, the best purchases would probably be skin packs because you know where you're getting uh, right in front of you. You could look at every skin in the pack and know exactly what you're getting. And I definitely agree with that. Um, they, they also tend to be on the cheaper side as well, like 25 skins here for $1.99. I feel like that could be a good idea. I mean, they look kind of similar, but um, uh, like, what are the difference between these three? And like, nothing too crazy, but I mean, it is probably the best value, and you know exactly what you're getting. So those are probably the safest bet. But um, yeah, there's also another thing I want to mention. Let's go over to the education collection, which have a bunch of free maps listed here, and I want to say that these maps also um are definitely one of the most well worth it maps because they are free but um they also have a lot of things to do some of them i haven't gotten yet but some of them i have been through like washington dc i've done a showcase on that uh map that was a very well put together map by lifeboat and i would say like that map probably has like um i would go out on a limb and say 10 times <laughs> 10 times the amount of things to do on that map than modern house does from toy cats video and it's free and modern house was twenty dollars like i just think that the whole pricing system is is definitely like something that needs to be fixed uh just my little opinion here i think we're gonna wrap this video up just wanted to go on a little rant on the minecraft marketplace um yeah so if i could say anything uh, finally i guess to say Look into the education collection. They got a lot of cool maps there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I don't remember if I said wash your hands at the beginning of the video. I might have to add that in there. But uh, if you haven't washed your hands, go wash it right after this video. Helps you out and helps others out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.